Hey guys, I'm Bob from Totally Unique Life. And um, during my last video, I, um, I reviewed this York Barbell STS Flat to Incline Bench. Um, you can check that out if you'd like. But during that video, I also talked about this um, York Barbell Pro Series 204 Barbell Support. And um, I purchased this barbell support back in January of 2018 and that is exactly three years to the date um, from when I purchased it so I think I have plenty of time to give a decent review on this barbell support um, currently due to the pandemic uh, it's hard to find these York barbell support um, products out there. Uh, I will leave three different links in the description um, for three different websites, one including Amazon that have um, this particular support, or at least typically sell this support. Um, right now they're all out of stock due to the fact that people are working from home and people are working out from home. So um, I think what you should do is just keep on checking um, the links or these websites and see if they come up, come in stock. You could actually call um, York Barbell and you could actually call StrengthWarehouseUSA.com to see if they when they expect these supports to come back in. So uh, the reason I purchased this support in the first place was because I wanted to be able to bench in my shed. I did not buy this particular support rack to do squats, but it is dual purpose. You can do squats as well as bench. In fact, recently I've started to do uh, chin-ups and uh, pull-ups um, using uh, my Olympic bar, seven foot Olympic bar. What I really liked about this particular Pro Series um, barbell support by York Barbell is that it had a fairly small footprint um, I am in a 10 by 20 shed and um, I do woodworking in here I have a lot of different things in here like a generator I have a compressor so I needed something that had a fairly small footprint um, which this does uh, I think if you're a heavy-duty bodybuilder uh, or heavy-duty uh, power lifter maybe a full-size um, cage for squatting and for benching might make more sense for you but if you're someone who you know might go up to 315 on the bench or do uh, squats maybe in the 300 3 to 400 range um, this pro series um, barbell support will probably work fine for you uh, so I've really uh, gotten a lot of use out of this in the past three years. It's currently January of 2021. And as I said, I purchased this originally in January of 2018. I do have an unboxing and assembly video. So if you do buy this particular uh, Pro Series Bobel support, um, you can watch that video. I, I go through unboxing it and assembling it it's, it's very uh, fairly straightforward there's really not a lot to it um, but I think that video would help you uh, so what I'd like to do now is to go over some of the, the features of the actual barbell support uh, then I'll do a quick demonstration of how I use it for benching and I will also show you how you could use it for squatting so um, what I'll do is I'll move out my bench for now. We'll look at some of the features of the, of the support and then I'll move the bench back in and then I can give you a quick demo. Okay, so as you can see, there's um, two sides to the support, that side and that side, and they're joined together by this section down here which is adjustable. There's a maximum uh, distance that you can have between the two supports. 
Um, this distance here works perfect for me. Um, I am about five feet nine. Um, and the distance between the two racks for me, I'm just doing a check on this right now. It's about 45 and a half inches, which um, I think for most people, that would be a perfect um, distance between. Um, as you can see down there, there are, there are holes on the bar at the bottom and this particular screw, uh, you'll just unscrew that and move the support, uh, the, the sides of the support into the left or to the right, depending upon how much space you want in between. But for a typical seven foot Olympic bar, this is a perfect distance um, between uh, for any type of benching or squatting purposes. But as you can see down there, um, there you can, you can adjust it to be closer together or further apart. That all depends upon what you're using it for and um, what your preferences are. So let's look quickly at the, um, these are the spotter bars. And the spotter bars uh, are, will help you when you would typically go to failure uh, on the bench anyway. Um, I have these set up at this particular height. This is perfect for me, and I will demonstrate how they work um, as far as if I wanted to go to failure. I currently only have 135 on on the um, on the bar right now, um, and I will just show you how I could just get out from under um, if I went to failure with something much heavier. Um, the one thing that's really important is they have these um, this, the same particular material as the spotter bars they call them is these uh, plate holders on the side and these these just slip right in um, and what's great about those is that if you have extra weight um, and you can put them on both sides um, these weights <laughs> I actually got these Olympic weights I got from uh, a friend. Uh, they were out in a shed, so they're pretty rusty. They haven't gotten any more rusty in my shed because my shed is heated. Um, but uh, having these two plate holders is extremely important because it helps stabilize the rack. Because without them, you could have a little bit of play side to side, but with you know some heavy duty weights down there um, when you're squatting or when you're benching it does help stabilize everything so these uh you can lift up these um up as high as i think it's 64 inches high i'll show you that when we get to looking at the um, the squatting uh portion of the demo I'm not going to do a squat, but I would show you how you would how you would actually do it. Um, as you can see, I do have um, a woodworker as well, and so I have a lot of wood uh, hung up on sides of my shed, and I have my chainsaw, etc. I live in the White Mountains of New Hampshire, so actually, I'll show you that it's at least last I checked, it's snowing out, so it's pretty. It's a beautiful day. Um, I do like the snow but anyway let's get back to uh, what we're talking about uh, so those plate holders are great it gives you a, a chance to have um, you know a place to keep your weights organized as well as add stability to the rack um, the material uh, the rack is made of is is steel it's two inch by two inch square which is great because they do sell additional um, plate holder 
uh, accessories and I just bought a couple and I'll, I'll probably uh, use those um, in, a, in a video soon um, where you can actually have some extra extra plate holders on the side I do have kind of plates all over the place here I have this Gold's Gym plate holder it's pre pretty well occupied here but um, I did send away for these additional plate holders that will go off the side and they work with a two by two which is what these uh, what this rack is so what I'd like to do now is give you a quick demo of benching with this Pro Series rack and then I'll show you how you can set it up for squatting. So let me move in my York Barbell SGS flat to incline bench and then we'll uh, we'll give you a quick demo. Okay so I'm just gonna do a few benches uh, with 135 here just so you can see um, how it works with the bench. So it's pretty stable, um, even when you get, you know, a lot more weight onto the bar, it's probably even stabilizes it more because you have more weight that's sitting on the rack itself. Um, one thing I did talk about was the spotter bars, and for me, these this setting, uh, it's a second hole up, is perfect for the spotter bars for me. Um, I work out in this shed by myself. I don't have uh, a partner. Um, when I was growing up, I mean, my whole life I've typically worked out with another partner. I think it's important most of the time to have a partner and that they'll push you to get to the gym. I used to go very early in the morning. Um, if you know your partner's going to be there, then, you know, you try to get there. Uh, and so that kind of helped me motivate myself to get to the gym in the morning. But here, now that I'm, you know, getting close to retirement, uh, we moved up to the White Mountains in New Hampshire, bought this shed, insulated it, um, heated it, uh, put, created my own gym out here. There's not a lot of gyms around here. And the one that is, is fairly expensive and it's really not very good in my opinion. What I was trying to get to is that it's important to have some type of safety uh, feature of this rack and that's what these spotter bars are. Um, they're made out of a metal alloy. Uh, they almost look like aluminum but they're stronger than aluminum. I've often thought of maybe switching them out with a piece of iron pipe which I have here. This is a half inch pipe I use for woodworking. This is a clamp for woodworking. And that would, th these would fit right in here. And um, so I could, I could have some of these cut to the right dimension. And um, they do sell caps if, it, if they're uh, actually um, threaded. They have caps that would go on the end and that would allow me to replace these. But these have worked fine for me. I'm not benching as much as I used to bench when I was younger. I've kind of cut back on the on the amount of weight that I that I bench or I lift due to some joint issues and aches, overall aches and pains. I'm 62 years old, so over time you um, you have you know built up elbow issues, shoulder issues. I had a torn rotator cuff once that I had. I had fixed, I had uh, surgery on um, lower back issues, that's why I typically don't do squats with a, with a barbell. But anyway, I want to show you how these spotter bars, they call them, would save me in the event I was going, to, uh, doing 315 or 275 and I wanted to go to failure. So let me just use 135 as an example. I'm going to just lift it once, bring it down, and make it seem like I can't get it 
uh, up a second time and then I will put it on the spotter bar and sneak out as you can see uh, as you will see so here we go so I'm gonna lift it I'm gonna do it once oh I can't get it again so I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it right on the spotter bars and then I'm going to be able to sneak right out like that. So I feel good in the fact that I have some type of safety capability if I'm going to failure at a much heavier weight than 135. So that's important because I think a lot of you out there who are looking to buy something like this probably are working out by yourself, probably have worked, uh, done some heavy weightlifting in the past um, in a gym, but there's always people around in the gym, typically, uh, that can help you or can spot you if you need to, or you have a partner that's there that's always there to spot you. So um, that's a great feature. Uh, one thing, I don't know if you noticed, but there is a, um, a piece of wood. Let me see if I can bring this down. I put a piece of plywood underneath the bench here because what I noticed is that having this at number two, which is the one I had to have it, had to have it at, um, it was a little bit, what would happen is that when I benched, it would actually hit the bars. Um, but what I realized is that if I cut a piece of three quarter inch plywood and raised it three quarter of an inch, it was perfect so that I could go full extension when I benched and I could still have the spotter bars be there for me and I could get out of it. So that's why I have the three quarter inch piece of plywood underneath that. In my last video I said I would explain why that's there. So that's why that's there. So what I'm saying is that if there was more variability in the holes then I wouldn't have to do that. But there's a I think two inches between each hole. No, it's like, um, yeah, it's two inches between the center of each hole. So um, that's why I did that. So let me quickly um, show you how you would set this up for squatting. Okay, so I moved out uh, my bench and um, the first thing you should know is that there's this um, kind of a screw on the right hand on the side. I'm going to start with this this side first. Um, there's a screw and you have to unscrew that to get this to free up. But it's still not totally freed up because this spotter bar actually acts as a support to, to um, keep this in place as well. So you have to pull out the spotter bar. I'll just leave it like that and then you can lift this up as you can see it it goes <laughs> very high um, I'm not sure how many hold yeah there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve different holes um, I'm going to bring it down to I'm going to move this up first of all but you have to move this up to get in the hole. I'm just going to pick a pick a hole that would be, you know, okay for me. Actually, this would be too high for me. Let me see if I can bring this up so you can see it. This would be a little bit too high for me, so I'm going to drop it a little bit. Typically, when I when I squatted in the past, I would it would actually be a little lower than my my shoulders so I'm gonna come down even a little more so this might be perfect for my for my height I'm five foot nine I, I used to be five ten and a half but over the years um, as I said I'm 62 and uh, shrunk a little bit so I'm five five foot nine now so this is probably a good height so you want to do after you do after you 
put in the spotter bar, you then have to just tighten up this screw like that. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. I'm gonna unscrew. I'm gonna take the spotter bar out, that'll drop it. I'm gonna lift it up to, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, so I'm gonna lift it up. And I'm gonna bring it up here. Second one down. And you can adjust the spotter bars to what makes sense for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll do up one more. There we go. And then I'm going to just tighten up the the, the cap, which is kind of like a set screw. It goes up against it. So now, as you can see, this is, um, you know, it wobbles a little bit. There is, as I say, it's important to have the, some weights on the plate holders at the bottom. Um, now, let me just put the bar up here. This is a seven foot bar. So, you know, you can move the rack more to the left. Uh, or you can make it wider in between. But if you do that, you're gonna start getting close to butting up against the actual, you know, collar section. Can't see that there, but over here, the section that um, the weights rub up against. So um, there's only so, so far wide you should go if you wanna use a seven foot Olympic bar which is what I use. So what I would do is just you know come under it like this, come over and then squat. So that's how you would use it for squats. And depending upon how deep you want to go with your squats, um, you can adjust the spotter bars to where you want it. To be so that's basically the demonstration portion so i hope that uh, video was helpful to you if you have any questions please leave them in the uh in the comments and i promise i'll get back to you with, at least within 24 hours um i have read some of the reviews in on amazon uh for this rack uh some people say that they uh, have squatted up upwards of 400 pounds uh, with this rack. Um, I think that might be pushing the boundary a little bit. Uh, I think if you're squatting 400, you might want to get yourself a, a more like a power rack um, for for doing that heavy. Uh, I think if you sticking with between you know 275 and 315. I think this would be fine for that. Um, as far as benching is, is concerned, I think you can even go higher uh, than 315 for benching. Uh, I don't think that that would be a problem at all. Um, one of the things I think maybe replacing the the spotter bars with something like iron pipe might might make sense. It's up to you. Uh, some people were saying that. You know, they, they, their elbows hit the support when they were benching. I don't know how that's actually happening. Um, I don't have that problem when I bench. I mean, I'm not even close to the supports. I guess maybe if you're six foot six or something and you're benching where your, your elbows are flailed, flailed out or something. I don't know. I, sometimes I don't understand what people say in the comments on, on Amazon, but I've used it for three years now, almost to the day. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's perfect for, for, um, for my, for my workouts. Um, but I think you can't go wrong. I just, as I said earlier, finding one will be tough. Um, just as it was difficult to find one of these flat to incline benches, but keep checking uh, Amazon, keep checking strengthwarehouseusa.com. Um, I think you, uh, 
you eventually going to you're going to find them in stock i'd say within the next you know three months or so um once uh the whole fears of the pandemic uh are allayed due, um, thanks to the vaccine and um and once people get back to uh, back to work uh, instead of doing all their work at home and working out at home and people get back to the gym so i appreciate if you enjoyed this video please like it anyway thanks for watching and uh we'll see you next time